Hey everybody, Charlie Bullet here, the Troll you can trust, back with the Walking Dead Rose oh, 5 video, featuring the Platinum Necklace event. We've recently just got a Platinum Necklace event into the game, and this event is basically geared towards getting survivors into our rosters. Now, this takes the place of level up events as the rewards here, as for us to get Platinum Necklaces, we get them based on our rank when it comes to solo level ups, and I'm guessing maybe faction level ups as well but just in general, the level up event. As before, we would normally get a guaranteed survivor for anybody in ranks one, two, or three. And in the case, everybody else has a random chance of opening up the crate to grab a survivor. This event, hopefully you can accumulate enough platinum necklaces to get a guaranteed survivor. Now, I really do like this. I've been saying this for a while. This game needs more guarantees in it and less RNG. This right here, I am a huge fan of as this is currency that you can accumulate to eventually then spend on what you want and not have to take a chance, which to me, I think is a very good approach and a very good feeling because there is a sense of accomplishment involved here rather than just plain old excitement. But as you can see here, these are the amounts that you can get for where you can place, taking the place of the random crates. Now, let's go look at what we can actually get for this event. Platinum Medal number three. Platinum Medal for the Bronze is Jeremiah. I do have Jeremiah, I use him quite a bit, and I actually think he's fairly good, considering defense downs is pretty legit, especially 70%. And since we're we are getting a new wave of survivors, which are going to be beefed up stats compared to the first generation of survivors, defense down I think is going to be a hot commodity in the introduction of the second generation. So even if you only got enough to get the bronze reward, I still think this guy is pretty good. As for the silver, we are going for Yvette. Me personally, this is who I am going for. As I really do need a yellow healer, and bonus HP and focus is pretty good and not to be overlooked. I know I think some people probably have like four or five Yvettes, which, you know, sucks, but <laughs> at least you got some Yvettes. Some people don't even have them, like me but hopefully I can save up enough to get her. She's going to be very good. And now, for the final grand prize of it all. The gold, the Eric, the person I just did a video on not too long ago. This guy is pretty legit. Now, I'm not gonna go into great detail as there is video about him, but these stats are just <clears throat> god tier. These are incredibly high defensive stats for his HP and his defense. Incredibly, incredibly high. But one thing I do want to say is with this event, this really has made level up events a little bit more, I want to say a little bit more, a lot more interactive in competition. As you can see here on our leaderboard, this person right here, Fallen Angel, I think was at 5 million within the first 10 minutes <laughs> of the event starting. So this is crazy. Like normally our, our region would end, uh, we would have somebody maybe like 2.7, 2.9 and the competition on this has raised it so much that we are getting people in the seven millions. Now, I know there's probably people out there that in other regions that are more populated than probably go higher than this, but my God, this is freaking high. That's, this is almost four level up events where you can reach the entire milestones. That's how bad these people are really wanting these survivors or these necklaces to then get their survivors. And this won't be the only time either, as we can see here, Versus raids, the rewards for raids do not give any necklaces, so it seems like it is going to be a level up only reward. And so now you know the museum of where to get your rewards, you know how to get the currency to get the rewards, and that is pretty much the entire event. Very simple, very small, but a one month long event. Make sure people can get a guaranteed survivor or two. Also, before I wrap this video up, let me know in the comments down below your top three people in your region. How high are their scores and how bad are they really wanting to get Eric? Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video and made you laugh, for you anything positive, please give a nice cry, chop the like, subscribe button, make sure you comment down below. It was Porch greatly appreciated. And on that, I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye-bye.